Oh, hold on, Bella. I'm getting there. <laughs> oh, you're just kind of getting ahead of me there, girl. Okay. Uh, so we've got a severe thunderstorm coming in. In fact, they're talking about possibility of everything. Tornadoes, hail, all that kind of good stuff. So you know, I just finished up doing some leg work today. Low impact, but still, you know, working working my muscles basically from the waist down. Trying to lay the groundwork, trying to build the base to that I can uh, build up from once I start training again. So right now, though, before the storm moves in, I'm going to jump in my cold tub uh, for about 10 minutes and enjoy a little bit of that because that, that feels good. It feels good. I mean, it's cold. It's cold. Uh, it's cold to me anyway. I've got a, I got the uh, chiller running right now, bringing the temperature down to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and that seems to work out pretty well for me. I don't know that it needs to be much colder than that. I suppose if you had something to prove and you wanted to jump in, you know, super freezing water, you, you probably could. You just wouldn't stay in it for as long because, you know, that could be dangerous if you're into, you know, that freezing type of temperature for, for very long. Excuse me as I reach around. I'm doing the, the latches of the tub. Uh, okay, I think we got it. Got something to let off to the side here. Well, the sun is coming up for a second. Okay, one of the nice things I love about this tub is it's always set up and always ready to go. All I gotta do is basically jump in for 10 minutes. Can't hardly beat that. I am gonna set my alarm on my phone because I tend to lose track of time a little bit. Oh goodness, of course it doesn't, it's not set for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh boy, all right, so now I got it set. I'll turn that on once I get in. So, just so I, like I said, so I can keep track of it. Uh, the chiller will tell you the temperature of the tub, but uh, I also have my, my little turtle tells me too. Um, so yeah, it's getting there. It's, it's just about 50 degrees. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna jump in. Oh, so I didn't mention this. I, I did a review of the Super Tub, you know, um, yesterday. It came out yesterday. Uh, but what what I what I didn't know at the time. And so I'll just let you know now, if you guys are at all thinking about it, and I know it's a it's a significant investment, but right now Hydrogun has a deal going on that if you buy the Super Tub, they're going to give you a, an infrared sauna blanket or heat pod sauna blanket for free. And those things are about $500. So, um, you know, they're not offering specific discounts, but that's a pretty damn good promo. Uh, so then you got the uh, the whole you know, fire and ice thing going on. All right, I'm gonna jump in the tub. Oh, like I said, I'm trying to get ahead of the storm just a little bit here. Whew. Gotta move my polka slides out of the way. All right, let's get this one in. Oh, you know what? I do get, I've gotten more accustomed to it, but it's still cold when you get in. I mean, I don't care, it's still chilly when you get in. So you gotta kinda, Lower yourself down. Oh, it's that flight or fight, 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 fight or fight, fight or fight, flight or fight. Oh. Oh, you know what? I forgot to set my alarm. Oh, I could have been in here for 20 minutes and then it would have been too long. Okay. Okay, my timer is going. I don't know if you guys can see that in the screen or not. Oh. It is cold. I don't care. 50 degrees is cold. If, if people are getting in tubs that are colder than that, my hat's off to them. I hope you guys are you know, enjoying your day. This is how I'm spending my day today. You know, I'll get back into the normal training routine soon. I'll probably head, start heading to the gym a little bit, maybe changing things up. You know, I've been on either my mountain bike, mostly my stationary bike. Um, also, maybe changing it up getting on the you know elliptical machine doing something a little different like that it's still low impact so my doctor did clear me when it comes to aerobic type exercises he specifically mentioned uh, the stationary bike he was fine with that um, elliptical that I just mentioned and aqua jogging do a little jogging in the pool I've never done that so I might be you know looking up some things on aqua jogging 
I really don't know necessarily the best way to go about it. I mean, you know, I have seen that they have these vests that you can put around your waist to help you out. So if you guys have done aqua jogging, I know, I know some of you have because you've mentioned it to me as a possible training tip. Um, you know, let me know, let me know how you like that. You know, again, I, I do appreciate those that have already shared that with me and found it to be useful. But, um, you know, I'm always looking for as much information as I can get. Maybe, maybe better yet, because it sounds like it is a really good way to help maintain fitness and so on. Um, but maybe if you have some tips on how to do it, uh, I don't know. You just like doggy paddle in place with this buoy on. Uh, I have seen, you know, a video or two, but they've been very, very different. Some have this rope that they tether to the pool somehow, maybe where the um, where those buoys are that they use to designate lanes. Maybe they're attaching it to that. Um, others are, are actually like moving in the pool, like jogging in the pool, you know, moving. Uh, and some are basically almost doggy paddling style, you know, where they've got some type of flotation device that they're using to help hold them up and, and they got their feet kind of swinging back and forth like, like so. So I don't know, if you guys are do, have done aqua jogging, um, I would be interested to know, uh, you know, how you learn to do it. Like, did you watch some videos or is it just kind of trial and error? So I don't know. I think it might be worth trying. You know, I, I did renew my gym membership at least temporarily anyway until I can you know, start training, doing more of these types of things at, at home. Um, I don't have a pool at home, but there's a pool at my gym. So I might, you know, might as well take advantage of it if I can. Um, stuff that I'm contemplating on trying to do as I, as I continue to work through my rehab. I think most, you know, I think a big <laughs> emphasis for me uh, has to be on strength training. And you know, I didn't I didn't realize this until recently when I you know now that I have this this uh, stress fracture, you know, um, I started looking into it a lot more. Like how how do you strengthen your bones so that doesn't happen in the future? You know, of course, nutrition does play a role, and that you know that's something that I I think I'm pretty good at. You know, for the most part, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect when it comes to that, but I, I'm pretty good. Uh, but what I didn't know is that you know, actual strength training, lifting heavy weights, you know, squatting heavy weights, doing that kind of stuff, helps to strengthen your bones. Because apparently, you know, your muscles are attached to the tendons, your tendons are attached to the bones, and as your, as your tendons are pulling on the bone, the bone will strengthen to accommodate the extra load. I didn't know that. I didn't know that that's how that works. So, you know, I wish I would have known that. 50 years ago. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't be in this spot right now. Uh, but I am, and we're working through it. So we live and we learn, and we make most of it, and we, we try to come out, like I said, you know, a uh, faster, stronger runner at the end of the day, hopefully um, a more healthy runner. Certainly, I'm a bit more wise than I was before this incident. I, I never considered that I could get a stress fracture it never, it never, ever even occurred to me. The only thing I've ever really been worried about are things, you know, like you know, tendonitis or, um, you know, shin splints, things that I have dealt with in the past, uh, but never really considered the possibility that a stress fracture <laughs> could happen to me, and it did. So my next training block for Chicago, I think, you know, I think it's going to start June 24th, because I like to have 16 weeks. And hopefully, I'll have the okay to be able to do that. Well, I, my 10 minutes is getting close to being up. So I'm just going to enjoy the last few minutes in the tub here. And I uh, just really appreciate you guys sticking with me. I hope wherever you are that you're happy, healthy, and staying safe. So thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. And there's my timer. Oh, goodness. Got goosebumps. <laughs>